after a game-winning home run by Amanda Locke, the Alabama Crimson Tide softball team defeated Arizona State 2-1 in a thrilling game on Friday night. The reward? The day off. Well, sort of. The Tide didn't have to play today, but they did practice here at Oklahoma City University to prepare for Sunday's game. We were at the restaurant last night at about, I think, 3.30, and I didn't get to bed till probably 4, and um, we got to sleep in. That's, that's a first. It's been a long time um, to get to sleep in a little bit. We're out of practice right now, but the first two are huge for us. And we beat a very, very good Arizona State team last night. And uh, they're one of the best offensive teams in the country. And to hold them to one run on three hits was incredible. The Tide is 2-0 and here at the Women's College World Series, and that means they're only one win away from making program history. When you're in this, this uh, part of the season, you are ending the careers of seniors. And it's tough to do. You know, we've had four weekends where it's almost basically, you know, you're ending the careers of some of these great players. And to, to get on the last few days, it's very difficult, but it would mean the world to this program because really, you know, it's, it's the last hurrah, really, that we haven't done yet. You know, we haven't won that national championship. We've got every other title, but the last one is the biggest one. And uh, I, would, I would love it for these six seniors to, to be able to do that. And even though the team is playing here in Oklahoma City, they're aware that there are fans back home cheering for them, and that gets them excited. I've heard from so many friends that were at restaurants and uh, places in Tuscaloosa that had the game on Friday night, and uh, the place explodes into roll tides and cheers when we made that last out. And uh, if, if anybody is watching this or listening, we appreciate that so much because we are, it, the word is getting back to us that Tuscaloosa is supporting us. The tie will return to the Diamond at the ASA Hall of Fame Stadium on Sunday to face the winner of the Cal Oregon game at 2.30. You can catch the post-game press conference right here on Tide TV at RollTide.com. Reporting from Oklahoma City University, I'm Chris Fringland with Tide TV.